welcome to Three Kids R Us TV. We are going to be doing an American sweets and candies and biscuits video. We're looking forward to trying out some of the things that we've not actually seen before. Um, here's just a little array of some of the things that we've we've got. I can get them all into the camera yet, and a glass of water in the corner just in case some of them aren't very nice. We thought it'd be a good uh, we thought it would be a good idea to film it. Um, we picked up most of them from Tesco. Um, we got some nice chocolates from Harrods, but we've decided to keep them for best to enjoy them yeah. uh, without ruining the taste of all the <laughs> other things we're eating. So I'm going to put you down here. I'll put my hand in front of the lens. Da, 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 da. Right, okay, lovely. Right, hello. Okay, so what should we try first? I think we should leave the mints till later because that's going to be one of the things that's going to be really overpowering. Okay, so should we try the golden Oreo smiles first? Yeah. Okay, um, I do love the fact they've always got the label on the back of these. It just, I don't know why, it just makes it feel special, even though I know it's not. Um, this was actually quite expensive. This was a pound in Tesco for six Oreo cookies. And by the look of it, they're smaller than the normal ones. Um, I said by the look, I mean by the feel of it. Um, so we're going to get these out. And of course, the first one I can see has crumpled. But let's try again. Okay, so there is your one, Amelia. Thank you. I'll do a close Ooh, up of mine, good. one that isn't completely crumpled. Mm, let's smell it. Okay, that is what they look what? like, which I think they're really sweet. It I love the pattern on it. Like... Okay, three, two, one. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It tastes like, um... Oh, I know, it tastes a bit like that square thing that Nanny Cow. That's what I love. Multi milk. Mm -hmm. mm. With the, with mm. the white stuff Custard inside. cream. That's what it's like. Custard cream. Mm. It's vanilla. I don't know if it's got vanilla. Oh, I'm dropping back bits above. <laughs> the tag's over the top of it. Mm. Yeah, wheat sandwich cookies with cream filling. I like them. They taste just like um, custard creams. We'll save uh, the rest of the pack for Jacob because he'll feel left out. Mm, they were nice. We've. Um, I actually tried a few different flavours of the Oreos and I think my favourite, I think it was orange and peach or apricot or something like that. It was from a, um, a Japanese store in Nottingham and I can't think what the name of the store is. Um, and they sell bubble tea and all sorts of different sort of produce from, from Japan. They've got a few different, um, unusual different flavours of uh, Reese's that you can't get in normal shops. Um, and it's kind of like the actual filling was orange actually orange coloured so yeah though they, they were really nice and I think they do a kiwi one as well if I remember rightly so so anyway there's the Oreo cookies I what's our verdict on them do we like them uh -huh. yes and, I like them too and I like the ordinary chocolate one. yeah I like That's them too really I wish they do one with like a milk chocolate biscuit mm. instead of the dark chocolate I like the dark chocolate but it'd be nice to try one with a milk one if there is one and you know of them put it in the description in the description in the comments box <laughs> because I've never seen them before okay lovely so thumbs up for the golden Oreo smiles next thing on our list we're gonna try the Nestle or Nestles as it should be called Nestle Butterfinger Bites um, which are bite-sized pieces of Butterfinger candy which doesn't explain anything because what's <laughs> Butterfinger here we go Bite-sized chocolate coated crispy peanut butter and corn flakes candy. Okay. And the only thing that I don't like peanut butter. Oh, I thought you liked peanut butter. I don't. Oh, okay, well. That's why I never have it. Well, I suppose you've never really had peanut butter properly, have we? Yeah. Right, let's try these then. Let's, let's open these up. I, I love it when they're in like these packaging. It. We're going to rip these open. I do love these boxes. They remind me of like what you get at the cinema over in the States. And they just, I don't know, they just, they just seem a bit more special than a bag. So anyway, so these ones have got a pressed open seal. I'm so scared. Why? <laughs> I don't like peanut oh. butter. Oh, I can smell it from here. Smell that. Already I haven't even opened it and you can smell it. Okay, well, mummy might have to test these ones on her own. Right, if I could actually open the flaming thing, that'd be good. Right, there we go. Three, two, one. Open sesame. You're back in the room. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's really weird. They're physically in the box. I was expecting to have like a, like a plastic inner that you had to open, but that just must be over here in the UK. These smell amazing. Okay, that's what they look like. They're like little pillows of chocolate. Okay. 
I ate it because I didn't think she was going to try it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, it's like cornflakes. Yes, that's right. The packaging is right. Cornflakes. Mm -mm. Don't like it. <laughs> zero. Not <laughs> zero. <laughs> oh, well, Mummy will have to finish them off. What a shame that is. Mmm. Mm. They taste just like the inside, inside, excuse me, inside of the new um, Krispy Kreme donuts that you can get that are Reese's, which I know is stupid because it's Nestle, but that's what it tastes like. I know it's peanut butter, but that kind of, it's a similar flavour. I think I'm going to have a bit of sip of this as well. I taste all of it is peanut butter. I know. Anyway, if you can hear a baby crying, that's because uh, Chloe's upstairs in bed and she's refusing to go to sleep. Um, she won't want any more milk, but she's up there crying. So just in case you think that I'm abandoning her, she's just up there asleep. Well, trying to go to sleep, but she's just not very happy bunny at the moment. She's not very well. She's got her first tooth coming through, so she's crying. But going I keep going up and it's not doing anything. So um, we're going to... Oh, we are so oh, okay. to be patient. Okay. So yes, yeah, just to explain, if you hear a child, I'm well aware. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, so the next ones, I've actually not seen these before. They look like, um, basically, just wafers. They're Reese's Sticks. Um, peanut butter again, I'm afraid, no. darling. Chocolate covered coating, peanut butter and crispy wafers. Um, I've seen Reese's Pieces. I've seen the Reese's Cups and the big cups that you can get. But I've never seen these sticks. So we're going to give them a whirl. I think, wow, they're huge. They're a lot bigger than I was expecting. Take a bite. It won't taste like the other thing. You tell me what you think. Mmm. Mmm, I like that. <laughs> I actually think they'll be better in the fridge. I think they'll taste a lot nicer. Anything else on it? <laughs> You're all right there. You really didn't like that. Okay. <coughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <coughs> I'm actually joking on a bit of food there. Oh, I can't breathe. Right, okay. So, what's our verdict on these? I really like them, but I like peanut butter. So, what do you think? Okay, well. I'm very sorry for getting them too. I thought you liked peanut butter. So, I know. I'm very sorry. Right. It tasted real peanut butter. That one was a bit good than what we had with that, but. And I tasted a little bit of peanut butter, and in that one, there was lots. Okay, right. The next thing. I don't think it's American, but we picked this up from Poundland, I think, which I know is very random, but it's not something that we've ever seen in the UK. It's Dairy Milk Silk, Fair Trade, as you can see oh, by that cool. logo. And it, I don't know where it's from. I've, I've never seen it before. Let me have a look. It said, oh, made under license from Cadbury UK Limited and made in France for South Africa Limited. Okay, so it's not American, it's South African, but I've never seen it before. And you can see by the picture, it looks just like, um, like Galaxy. So, um, we actually have opened this before, which I know is very naughty, but Amelia's not tried it yet. So, we're going to open the pack have up. Huh? Have you? I tried a little bit, yes. This was about a week ago with Daddy, we tried a little bit. I know it's naughty, so I'm going to break off a little bit for you. You tell me what you think, and I'm going to show... Okay. Camera. That's what they look like. That's, that's, not, very good. that's not very good, is it? Oh, that's what they look like. What do you think? I'm going to try a little bit. Doesn't taste like normal Cadbury. It does. Doesn't taste... Um, you can't really taste milk. It says it's got cow's milk in it. Um, But I can't taste it. Good. Good, good, yeah, good. it doesn't taste it doesn't taste like normal dairy milk. Um, yeah, it hence does. why it's not been demolished yet. We haven't eaten it all because if it tastes like normal dairy milk, it would have gone last week. But it's just it's almost a bit bitter, a bit a bit like dog chocolate, which sounds awful, but that kind of like fake chocolate. It doesn't it doesn't taste like dairy milk. If it was any other brand, like a shop bought brand, you know, or whatever, as in like a supermarket brand, then I wouldn't even like think anything of it i just think it would just taste like chocolate but because it's got dairy milk to its name i'm expecting it to taste like dairy milk um and cadbury so but it doesn't unfortunately so i like it but 
I wouldn't buy again. But the fact it was a pound was the reason we bought it. I and because it was Cadbury. So, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm not massively keen. But anyway, there's the Dairy I Milk Silk. That. So, I love that. kept her happy. Okie doke. The next thing we're going to give a try is, um, give, give a try. We're going to try is the Soft Milk Caramels. I can't speak. Soft Milk Caramels in Pure Caramel Chocolate. Chocolate. Junior Caramel. Caramels. I'm gonna wiggle the sussy bun, and then, <laughs> and then that's what the pack looks like. Okay, so it says, Junior caramels are a rich blend of milk chocolate and soft, easy to chew caramel. Bite-sized caramel centers are covered with the right amount of chocolate and are ideal for snacking and sharing with friends of all ages. Well, that's good because Amelia's seven, so it's got oh, it's peanut-free. Oh, that'll that'll make Daddy happy. Seaman's not a massive fan of, uh, well, I'm saying not a massive fan, nuts. he physically can't have anything with nuts in it because he's got asthma and it makes him bad. So we tend to steer clear of stuff with nuts unless it's Ferrero Rocher and then unfortunately they have to be eaten. Um, so they have to be bought, don't they? Okay, I just thought I'd mention, it actually says that they're made by Tootsie Roll, which I'm sure everyone's out there going, yeah, duh, but I didn't actually realise they were made by Tootsie Roll before. Which is unusual, and I thought, yeah, I didn't think they actually sold Tootsie Rolls anymore. I thought they were discontinued. That was exciting, wasn't it? Okay, that's what they look like in. Oh, <laughs> that's what they did look like. It actually bloomed a bit, which isn't great. Look, this is where it They've looks gone a bit like. white, which isn't great. Look, this is what. Okay, it well, I've got like. in there. Do you want to try it? What's wrong? It's just caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. That doesn't quite taste like caramel. It tastes like... I don't know if it's because they've bloomed. I mean, half of them... We haven't had these very long. We bought these from a genuine... <laughs> a genuine... <laughs> look at them. Look, that's not how they should look, is it? They don't all look like that, but they're, that's what most of them are. They don't... They taste really bitter. They're not... Well, let Daddy try those. I'm not... Yeah, sorry. I'm not really a big fan of them. But Junior Mint... Junior Mints. Junior Caramels. Freudians. Look, not that keen on them. Um... These were actually a pound from a American Candy Junction or something like that, I think it's called, um, in Derby into Centre, um, formerly Westfield, now into. Um, so we thought, wow, a pound, that's really good, they're normally about two, three pounds. We'll um, pick one up and see what they're like. So I'll see what Daddy's verdict is of them, but I'm personally not like you. Batter fudge. Tastes like what? Battered fudge. Battered fudge, okay. Jimmy. Right. Sticking with the Junior brand, something that I physically cannot get enough of. These are called Junior Mints. And every time I was in America, or Stephen went over to America for work, this was my request. They are a creamy, flowing, refreshingly light mint centre surrounded with just the right amount of rich dark chocolate. <laughs> Coating has made Junior Mints a favourite of all ages, inside or outside the movie theatre. Well, hell, it doesn't need to be watching a film to eat these. I will eat them any time. Gonna come back into shot, or are you just gonna complain because they've got mint in them? They like so, mint. Yes, you do. What's going on with your wig? Okay. There we go. Right, what's wrong with junior mints? Okay, right. These look more like it. <laughs> There's no way of doing it without them all taking out. There we go. Right, so that's what they look like inside. They, look weird. they are. <laughs> that one was no, that one was broken. Genuinely, I wasn't just eating it to be mean. They are like little discs. They look almost like. Mm, got a text message. Good. They look almost like minstrels, but just a little bit thicker, but they're just really gooey inside. Oh, right, three, two, one. Mm. Oh. They are my favourite. Oh. I'll have some water. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love these. Far too good for children. Oh, they've got a little... Good that I don't like it. They've got a little tab that you can put them in. Anywho, so... That's them. Junior Mints, my verdict is 10 out of 10. Melia's, not so much, but they are amazing. I think it's because zero they're, very, zero. they're very strong mint. It's not just like, it's not like Aero. Well, I suppose they're peppermint as well. <coughs> I'll shut up. They're really nice. I really like them. If you get to try them at one of your, like, your nearest candy centres, I don't know if um, Tesco sell them. I've not seen them in them before, but you look out, there's tons of American candy stores around at the moment. They are really nice if you like mint and you like chocolate together. Who can complain? 
Right. Me. I'm going to have some water before this. Excuse me. It's running out. I have to get some more. Why don't you get some more water and I'll Daddy. open these. Okay. Don't eat it yet. I won't. <sighs> okay, so Can't the next thing we bought. All right, I know they're not oh, they're exactly nice. rare, but they're jelly bellies. And I love the actual flavours in this pack because some of them I've seen, you can get really random flavours in packs. And I like to buy a pack where I know that we can actually eat every single one of them without going, oh, that's cinnamon flavour, for instance. We love cinnamon, but the cinnamon oh, jelly bellies are really, really just, yeah, they're, they're really strange. It's like eating a spoonful of, of cinnamon, not good. So this little pack was only a pound, and I just thought it was good just to taste it. The ones we normally get over here is jelly, uh, where is it? I think it's called like jelly, the bean. gourmet jelly bean factory, something like that. I know Debenham sell them in abundance. Wait. They're like the main thing. And I always thought that was this company, but it's not. So these are jelly bellies. What flavors the flavours that we've got in there are banana, <gasps> blueberry, tutti frutti, lemon, juicy pear, berry cherry, green apple, coconut, watermelon, and tangerine, which are all my favourite. Not so sure I? on the watermelon, but um, I'm sure it'll be nice. So if I can find all of them, we won't. We'll just try a few. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Okay, do So let's pour them out onto the table, and we'll try some different ones. Okay, do So first one we're going to try is the cherry ones. Pick up a red one. Okay. Red cherry one. Three, two, one. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like tunes. If you're in the UK, you know what tunes are. Mm. That's exactly what these taste like. Cherry, ch cherry tunes. Can't say that when you're drunk. Cherry tunes. Mmm. They're nice. Right, okay. Call it half to swallow. <laughs> mm. Very cherry. Take me fillings out. Okay, right. Next one we're going to try is top banana. That's pear. Wait there, Amelia. I think that's top banana. No, that's top banana. How many times am I going to say top banana in this video? <laughs> top banana. <laughs> top banana. Top banana. Right. This will be the last one. Three, two, one. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Amazing. They taste just like um, banana foams. You know, like the... The shrimps and the bananas that actually taste just like them. I really want to I'm gonna put the, the rest of these back because I don't want to be sick. I really want to taste the water. Okay then, let me have a look. I'm just having a look, right? Juicy pear, lemon, watermelon. Okay. Right, I think that's all of them. Let's pop them back in mm. and we will try some of them later. Is it fruity? Mm -hmm. Is it nice? Excellent. It just like watermelon. Amazing, right? I'm gonna pop them back just because I don't want to make it sick. But anyway, so Jelly Belly, I do really like these and the flavours actually taste like how they're supposed to taste, which I know sounds ridiculous, but they just actually taste how they're supposed to so Anyway, this little pack was a pound. Um, I don't know, we haven't finished. Right, okay, so in my opinion, as much as I love the Junior Mints, we have left the best till last. Now, about 10 years ago, if any of you are old enough to remember, I'm 28, but this is still a childhood memory. They used to do these in tiny little packs, like individual size packs. Are you right there? Are you being my, are you the Debbie McGee to my Paul Daniels? Are you doing my, are you doing the assistant bit? They are flips. Now, you can get quite a few different flavours of these, but white fudge is my favourite. We've just pulled them out of the fridge because they are best in the fridge. I don't know if you've tried these before, Amelia. We've, she's tried the, um... The ones that Cadbury do, the, the Cadbury pretzels, but these are just amazing. They were £1.50 from our um, Tesco Express, because they seem to have a massive section in our Tesco Express. It's really random, and they're always on sale. So um, we just thought we'd get a pack of these. So we, actually, we've got two packs, but we just won't be telling the kids. Um, and basically, they are just white fudge uh, covered pretzels. Um, and that's not much more I can say about it, really. Okay, so... The best part is getting to peel away the seal. Boom. Why is that oh. the best part? Because it's, it's just totally. satisfying. Come on. All right. It's like peeling off. All right. I'm sounding old now, but peeling off the packaging off a DVD packet or off a CD <laughs> or. I don't know. It's that like. It's that satisfaction. I know it's really sad. So anyway, they've got a really cool 
not that you'd ever need this because it's got a seal to reclose it in case you decide not to eat them all but come on once you've tried one or oh, i'll be withholding myself when we eat them now but you'll see what i mean oh i've got a toofer <laughs> hello <laughs> i mean oh i've got a toofer <laughs> hello <laughs> okay right the toofer's mine for later you have that one there look that's a nice big one okay they're just amazing they're just really coated nicely yeah hello mine's smaller hello told you you had a big one right okay gonna give it a try oh they're so good ready three two one mm. yuck what's wrong with it it's like <laughs> That's my girl. I love it. Yuck, but then you decide to throw it in just in case. Did you like it? I bet you bit into it. I bet she bit into it. Saw it, felt that it was salty. Got a little bit of some and some in there. Some and <laughs> some, and some, and some in there. I bet that she ate it, tasted the salt, and went, eh, before even realising how amazing they are. Come on, how good are they? Don't you dare... <laughs> don't you dare drink away the goodness don't drink the flavour away Amelia it's so good okay well and I take the her palate has not yet been uh... <laughs> are you right <laughs> down in that drink like a fish <laughs> sorry yes her palate has not quite been formed yet to appreciate the goodness so okay so flips 10 out of 10 for these as well. You can see where I'm going. I like all of it. I want to have another one. It's so good. They um also do a milk chocolate one, a dark chocolate one, and I must try mint. But every time I've gone to the um American candy place, there's about well, there's a few around in Nottingham and Derby. They're all about £4 a pack for this size, which is how many grams, Katie? How many grams? 100 grams, which I personally don't think is a lot. Um, especially when in America you can get like a massive pack for like two dollars. Um, are you right there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you, you can you continue. Um, but yes, I must try the mint, but they're so expensive. But anyway, Tesco's and I don't know if Asda still sell them. Anyone else know? It's Asda used to have like a massive American section. I don't know if it's just the ones up in um, Derbyshire and, and and Nottingham, but they used to have a really massive American section, and now they don't. So. Yeah. It's a bit strange. What flavour was that? Bubblegum? Tutti Frutti? Where's the, where's the bubblegum? It's that one. It's Tutti Frutti that'll taste like bubblegum. Anyway, I digress. So, we tried out flips. They were £1.50. We tried out Butterfinger, Butterfinger Bites. They were £1.25. We tried out Junior Mints. Oh, yes. Sorry. My verdict for this, real like the Amelia not. Once again, didn't like this, did you, Amelia? But I did. These were a pound. Junior mints, junior caramels. Neither of us like these. They were a pound, but maybe it's because they're bloomed. I don't know, but they don't yeah, taste like caramel in the slightest. Um, everything we tried was the dairy milk silk, a pound from your nearest Poundland, um, or Pound World, Poundland, Poundland. Um, definitely worth a try. Doesn't taste great, like but these. it's just a bit of a novelty, really, just to have something that. That, that is shaped differently from Cadbury's. Um, so yeah, 50-50 mm, of these. Five out of 10 for those. Next thing we tried was the Reese's Sticks and the Peanut Butter Sticks. Mina not so keen, she's still wolfing down the Caramel <laughs> Junior Mints, just in case. Um, I really like these, and Mina mm. didn't. And as you can see, she's fading away, so she's <laughs> decided to wolf down the other ones. And then um, the first thing we tried, which we really loved, was the golden Oreo smiles. They were really nice, weren't they? Sounds awful, but they taste just like custard cream, so maybe not worth buying, you know, regularly. <laughs> but I did look online yesterday at Waitrose, um, and they had, uh, what do you call it? They had peanut butter ones. <laughs> like a little mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> <laughs> just eat it and enjoy it and um, they had a big pack of these like you know like a roll of them not a box a roll do you know what i mean like a what, what they normally come in it's just the, the character the uh, fillings just come away anyway i digress they had a big roll of them for a pound um if i knew that they did them in a big roll i would have got them but i know that these are official american ones whereas i know the other ones might be 
made in the UK for the UK. So who knows? But anyway, they were a pound. I didn't mind paying that. They were nice. And then that is it. I think that's everything. So they're our favourites. Flips. Whoops. Flips standing tall as our firm favourites. Um, so yeah, so let us know what other videos you'd like us to do. Put it down in the comments if you could subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Hey! Thank you so much for watching and see you later. Bye bye.